Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So continuing on with our holiday series, today I am sharing how I decorated our bedroom for the holidays and this is a really fun video. It's one that I'm really excited about. I love having this cozy space in our home. So I am so excited to share it with you guys. As always, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, the little bell notification to be notified when we release new videos, as well as a thumbs up for this video. And don't forget to say hi in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is what we started out with. This is pretty much what our bedroom looks like all the time. It can be a little boring <laughs> so i wanted to kind of jazz it up for christmas and give it a little bit of sparkle so without going too overboard and i am always on a budget so my goal with this room was to keep the theme kind of flowing if you watched our other christmas decorating video we have kind of a woodsy forest type theme going on so i wanted to continue that in our bedroom one thing i have to remember is i have this modern rustic feel in my home so i try and incorporate incorporate things that will fit that aesthetic. So this corner here is very, very blank. So I thought we have this little skinny tree. It just is an extra tree that we have. So I thought I'm gonna put that in there. I'm not gonna put a lot on it. Just keep it very minimal and let the lights kind of do all of the work. Some of the lights towards the bottom and the middle went out, so I just added an extra strand in there to give it a little bit of extra sparkle, and this tree was perfect for that little corner. I mentioned in my other decorating video that I had bought a pack of remnant pieces of suede from Hobby Lobby. This was one of them, it came in a pack of three, and the color on it is so pretty. It's very warm, but it has that suede luxury texture that I love so much. So I thought I'm gonna use that as a Christmas tree skirt and just kind of cover up those legs down there. And for underneath the Christmas tree, I had this extra basket laying around. I like to, and little race cars in there. I like to kind of put a throw all or catch all uh, basket down there with like a cozy blanket and what's nice about having a little basket is you can put you know a coordinating pillow or what I've been doing is putting the throw pillows from the bed underneath the trees just so that it looks kind of pretty they're not just you know thrown on the side they're actually cute under the tree So the headboard or kind of backboard of our bed is a DIY that I did. I will link that above. And we did that, I believe, last summer sometime. Um, and I still love it even now. And it was the perfect backdrop, that woodsy type feel, that rustic feel, uh, to add a very realistic looking wreath on there and then I had these little bells that I had DIY'd. I found these on Amazon and I will link those for you guys down below as well. Uh, the greenery and the bells against that rustic wood I feel like just pops. It's so pretty but simple so I love it. And these throw pillows are that shearling material that is so in right now and this is a very inexpensive way to bring in like a trendy uh, type style into your home. These are from Amazon and I bought two packs. They were so inexpensive and I just added them over my uh, pillow inserts. They are so cozy. I feel like these little pillow covers make the whole room. They just have that really, really cozy vibe and it's so, so adorable. So I don't know if you guys have heard of the Casa Luna line at Target. I think I'm a little late to the party. Um, but I have seen these blankets and I thought they were pretty, but they're about $70, 69 for this size blanket, which is a king. And it was a little pricey for me, but once I felt this in the store, you guys, I could not pass it up. I thought I'm just going to try it. If it doesn't work out, I'll bring it back. But I fell in love with this blanket. It is the coziest blanket and it looks so beautiful wherever you put it it is so gorgeous and it just is that perfect touch of coziness that we needed in that 
room. Ours is in the natural color and I have those linked down below. This is our little but big kitty, uh, Link or Buddy we call him and he is almost I think 17 or 18 years old you guys he is our little old man he is the sweetest cat alive so leave a comment down below if you yourself have been called a crazy cat person or a crazy cat lady I definitely am if you guys remember one of my most recent videos I made this blanket ladder and I originally put it in our office well it's been kind of moving all around the house and I think it's finally found its home in this corner it looks so adorable here and I love that it's functional and I can just grab an extra blanket if I need one so we recently hung our TV on the wall which I feel like was one of the best decisions we made for our bedroom and that opened up the top of the dresser for a little bit of decor so that's always fun so continuing on with that little woodland type theme I just threw some pine cones in a basket that I had by adding a stack of books and a candle, you have an easy, decorative, and very pretty decorated dresser for the holidays. This little Jack is doing well in that spot. What I love about it is that it has that rust or patina on it, which makes it look a little bit antique, but it's mid-century modern, so it elevates that modern feel that I love so much. And this room has quite possibly become one of my favorites in the house. Um, we have the patio that goes right off of our bedroom and we have a little fire pit out there with some chairs and it's getting nice and cold now so we can go out and enjoy it. My husband and son are out there with the little fire pit going and it's a lot of, lot of fun for us. I cannot wait to dive into a new book and a warm cup of coffee or a chai latte. Um, this is one of my newest favorite books. I just got it in. This is Make Life Beautiful from Shay McGee. And you guys, I got a signed copy of it. I just had to share. I was so excited about that. But I hope you guys have the best holiday season and make the most of what's left of 2020. And we appreciate all of you coming and watching our video and subscribing all of the love that you guys give we are so appreciative and we hope that you guys will stick around we have so much more content coming and we're so excited to share it with you and with that thank you guys again and we'll catch you next time